building the UCS ATAT. Part two. So yeah, in the last part, um, part one, that will be down in the description. Um, uh, but part one, we built the, um, I don't know, lower half, um, the legs and sort of like the lower body. So now we're going to be building this upper part and the head and the interior that all goes into this. So I'm really excited. I think that's going to look super cool. And um, let's get building. There is two more boxes. Yeah, because I did one box. No, two box. Yeah, I did two boxes and there's four boxes. So if we go in here. Yeah, there's four boxes because the other one's out there. So I need to build the third box. Is that the third? Yeah, it's the third. Uh oh, almost at the box or the build. Ta da! So you got the sticker sheet right here. You got the the plaque sort of sticker for it and then all of the sort of like lights that would go on the inside there's also that window i don't know where that's going to come into play but uh, there is that window and then uh besides that it's normal sticker sheet really big because it's a big set but besides that it's really normal This is a certified weapon. You could kill someone with this. Like, that is built. Oh, 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 I might have just broke it. Okay, so, quick update. I'm in a different spot. I'm in my room now. So, um, there's, like, I don't know. I'm on the second section of the box. Yeah. So, I'm on one of the bags, and I need this piece. Yeah, that one right there. It's not an easy one to lose, and I don't think I put it anywhere else in the set. Like, I didn't, like, switch pieces accidentally. Either I lost the piece downstairs or LIGO didn't include it in the bag, which is very unlikely. So I probably lost it somewhere. But, or I put it somewhere else, but it's not affecting the build. So I'm not going to take out and take the entire set apart. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take apart um, this Jedi Starfighter. Because um, the piece is in there. I checked BrickLink. So it's in that Jedi Starfighter. I'll take a set or the set apart and then 
order the piece online when I make my next Lego order, and then I can build this. But for now, the AT-AT is um, higher on my priority, so I can get that out of the basement. Okay, so I just opened bag 10, and in bag 10, there's the second bag, like one of the smaller bags, and it's literally melted into each other. The bags are connected. Like, when this one got sealed, they got sealed together. One really cool detail is sort of like the octan colored gas canisters in the engine. Yeah, that's octan. The thing like Lego puts in their sets, like the gas company. Yeah, I think that's really cool that it was sort of a neat little detail that they threw in there. This one took me a while to figure out. This, um, this piece at the back here, I didn't put um, that little like sort of like little bar there. That's only two, like it's only two holes, right there. So I didn't put that on, and I just put the Technic pin there. And I was trying to bend it inwards to fit into that. So I was like bending it, and it wasn't, and they were like really squeezed in, and it looked like that. And I was like, that's not right. So I watched a few videos and just tried to get a shot of it and looking at it. Uh, and I was like, you know, it's not bent in that picture. So like, I need to figure out what's like, what's the deal here? So I, you, I looked down below and I was like, oh, so he has it with that piece on it. I was like, I don't have that piece on there. And I look back in the instructions, guess what's on there? That piece. So definitely pay attention when you're building this back part with the Technic. Uh, if you're not paying attention, it cannot go well, but now that I have this piece on there, oh, things are falling off. Whoops. Man, it's hard to get in there with one hand. You get the idea, though. It, it just, just pay attention when you're building. Okay, so this could go very badly. I am attaching the body of the ATAT -AT onto... the legs of the AT-AT. -AT. So this could go very badly, so just, once again, wish me luck. Um, how do I, how am I gonna do this? Uh-oh. Okay, so this is, this is the front, the short end is the front. So then that means the neck goes towards the short end, which would make sense, because that's the front. That in there? Oh, that's it. That's in there. I don't want to touch it because I don't want it to fall. And now it's telling me to put pins in there. I don't know where these pins go. Where do these pins go? So two over from that one. Oh, it made a clicking noise. So I feel like that might be good. Um, where? Okay. Oh, it made another clicking noise, so I'm assuming I have to do the same thing on the other side. Okay, now I'm going to test it. I'm just going to try lifting it, because um, I'm feeling dumb today, so I'm going to try lifting it. So if anything goes wrong, now I have it on video. Okay, I don't know. Should I go from the bottom, or should I hold, like, the Technic? I don't know. 
Here, let's let's try the bottom first. I feel like that might be Okay, that's a pretty beefy that's a pretty beefy build. Okay, I'm gonna set that down. Can I lift it from the technic? Mm. It's it's bending quite a bit, so I I don't wanna touch it up by the technic or lift it up by the technic anyway. And the legs aren't like in the most stable position right now, so I don't wanna really mess with it, so um that was the end of bag, what was that, 12? Yeah, now I gotta build bag 13, so. 13, here we go. This is my final box, so. Sort of sad that it's the last box, but it's, I'm excited to be done with it and finish, like, finish the build. Um, I can't wait to see what it looks like when I'm done. Um, but it is sort of sad because I really enjoyed building this, so. Um, but, I mean, I have tons of other content that I can make besides the at, -AT. Oh, that's a lot of bags. I'll show you this instruction manual. This is super cool. So it has pictures from the movie, which I think is already super cool. And it talks about like the head of the at, -AT. Super cool. But then if you turn the page, it gives you a timeline of every single at, -AT. That is so sick. Like it gives you the 2003 at, -AT the mini at, -AT, the motorized at, -AT, Another ATAT -AT from 2010, the year I was born. 2014, the 2015 Micro Fighter. The 2020, one of the best ATATs -AT ever. And the 2021, uh, another Micro Fighter ATAT. -AT. And finally, the UCS one, which we're building here today. That is so cool that it gives you a whole timeline of every AT-80. -AT. Quite a bit of the head done. You can see a little bit of the interior. <clears throat> sort of looks cool with the sort of like window looking out onto the like towards the rebel base. I think that sort of looks cool. Um, but besides that, the head is pretty normal. Red visor. I think that looks pretty cool. I like some of the building techniques to do that. Um, got some control panels. Oops. Almost dropped it there. Um, got some control panels and stuff. Nothing crazy. Um, I really do like the set, and it's 
quite a bit of space for the interior of the head. I wasn't expecting there to be very much, but there is quite a bit. Okay, so my time lapse died for the last like 10 minutes of filming. So, um, quick update, I got both of the panels on the side of the head. Those look really clean. Um, one detail that I do like is the cannons. When you push one back, like it's recoiling, the other one shoots forward. It feels a little weird. I know, no, maybe I might've broke something. I need to see. But it feels a little weird. Like it was stiffer before and like I feel like the cannons went back and forth. Oh, I see. No, maybe not. I don't know what happened. I think maybe, maybe the cannons need to be pushed up. I don't know, but it looks cool. Okay, so, I'm building, and then I come to this spot, and I don't have a piece, and guess what piece it is? The exact same piece that I literally just took out of another set, because uh, it wasn't in the set before. So that almost confirms my um, theory that LEGO just didn't include the piece, because maybe they just, that piece, like, got, st or, like, the pieces got stuck, and it was those two pieces, or they just didn't mold or something. Like, I don't know. And, I don't know. Unless I lo lost both of the same piece, which would be very weird that I, and, like, creepy that I lost the exact same piece twice. So, um, I'm thinking it's probably stuck in the factory somewhere. So, um, I guess I'm going to take it out of another set. Um, I think the same set that I took it out before, the Anakin Starfighter, um, that has two in it, so I'm gonna just go take it out of that set and move on with my build. Cause I honestly don't know where it went and I'm super mad right now. Um, I already checked all the bags in the garbage, so... <sighs> it's just annoying that, um, usually LEGO's quality is pretty good, um, with, like, including the right pieces. Maybe not with, like making the best quality items, but including the pieces, they're usually pretty good. So I'm a little bit surprised.
Anyway, guys, that is going to do it for this video. Um, this it was part two. Part three is coming soon, and that will be the review of this set. Um, I'm not going to give you too much um, detail on the set so far, but I really do like it. I think it's amazing. So thank you guys for watching. Remember to like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.